G'day YouTube, this is just a super simple and quick unscripted review of the latest release of Linux Mint 19, the Mate edition, uh, something that I've been calling a mate for a very, very long time uh, because I'm Australian, but the Mate edition here. So straight off the bat we can see something here, it does look very uh, cinnamon-esque, so this isn't the default desktop environment for Linux Mint, of course that's Cinnamon, and I've done a review on that one there. But this is uh, uh, Mate, now it is based on different libraries, and uh, I guess the most important thing is it's not very resource heavy, so if we were to pop it up, it's only using about 382 uh, megabytes of RAM, so that's kind of some of the, uh, one of the, I guess, uh, slightly defining features of Mate. It's just a little bit, uh, it tries to be intuitive, but a little bit less intuitive, a little bit more basic and, and simple. In, uh, in nature there. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, desktop environment, that's what we're working with there. We'll uh, have a look at the file manager, see what they're using with the file manager. I honestly haven't checked this yet, so let's see. Uh, Kjar. So Kjar is uh, it's, it's a very seldom used uh, file manager actually. Usually you'll see Nautilus, Nemo, Files, uh, Thuna, uh, the list goes on, but Kjar is uh, one that's sometimes used in tandem with Mate. So there we go, in fact you'll see Mate website, etc, etc, etc. But uh, it is designed to be slightly a little bit more lightweight, uh, fairly simplified in, uh, in visuals there. Obviously still, you can still say there's a bit of full functionality there if we go into the preferences, that kind of thing, but uh, that's neither here nor there for this really quick, simple review. Speaking of being a review, let's do a quick uh, kernel check to see what kernel we are working with with Linux Mint 19 and it is 4.15. Now, not the latest release, but uh, one of the latest releases of the Linux kernel. Uh, Linux Mint tends to have one of the latest releases of, of the kernel, uh, especially when it hits uh, the Ubuntu base, which is uh, it's actually using the, the long-term service release of the Ubuntu base. Uh, the Linux Mint 19 is, whereas previous versions didn't. Something that I won't get into too much. Linux Mint is really uh, designed more so for uh, not the novice user, but certainly not the the, the power user either. But um, there we go. So being with all these new updates, I believe the previous version of the Linux kernel used in Linux Mint 18.3, uh, so many numbers, is that uh, it was uh, kernel 4.10, which is a little bit older. So y you've got uh, you know, room room to move now. Basically, uh, options for pop popping new hardware onto your machine, which is uh, part of the the whole reason for new kernels. Uh, it's obviously uh, has a whole bunch of new features, including optimization. But hardware is a is a is a clear standout in terms of hardware compatibility, that kind of thing. There. Uh, let's see. Last but not least, if you want to install something in uh, Linux Mint, uh, you just use the apt update method. So, if we were to install uh, htop, we would type in the root command. We would then go apt, which is the update method, install, which is the command, and uh, htop, which is the software, and let's go hit enter, and it will say it's already installed, but uh, that's how you do that. So, uh, like I said, guys, super quick, simple, unscripted review, um, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. This is Mate, Mate Linux Mint 19. Now, Linux Mint 19, a at the time of this video, is in beta. I will let you know, but um, it's uh, basically when a uh, distribution does reach beta, you've got kind of a uh, software freeze in terms of uh, that. that's what it's going to have when the full release comes out. hasn't been too buggy, it's been pretty good here, so that's nice to see as well. It's uh, One thing I will mention is uh, the icons have been cleaned up in this distribution release, which is nice to see as well. It's nice and clean and crisp, so they've uh, kind of updated that as well. So that's pretty much it guys, hope you've enjoyed, super quick video, and cheers, have a good one, ciao.